What's up guys, Lane Rogers here with ZNR Realty. Back at you for another quick tip for real estate agents. Today, I have an awesome topic for you. Staying focused on the task at hand. Let's face it, in this industry, there's always a shiny object. There's always somebody trying to sell you this or that. You know, it seems like from the very first day I got into real estate, there was tons of people reaching out to me. I was getting emails all the time, just getting you know, inundated with things on all the different social media platforms over the years. And you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really ridiculous. And it, there's so many people that fall for that because people really, real estate agents in particular, they're looking for the, you know, the, the easiest way out. They're looking for the path of least resistance and they're looking for a way, you know, an easy button basically. And uh, it just, it really doesn't exist. You know, I've been in real estate around 20 years. Those of you that know my story, and I've been doing this for a while. But, you know, what I've learned and learned, you know, through trial and error, a lot of times the hard way, is that all these, all these shiny objects that people have out there, whether it's software or whether it's an app or whether it's this product or that product, or this brokerage or that brokerage is that when it really comes down to it you got to put in the work you know you've heard the phrase chop the wood carry the water well it, it's 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 exactly that it's you know day in day out you know putting in the effort putting in the work and then over time starting to see the fruits of your labor and start to see the results and really in this industry and any high ticket sales you know the money is in the mundane it's, it's making the calls it's knocking on the doors it's sending emails, it's sending texts, it's, it's doing the mundane things that seems like it's pointless, it's not very fun. Those are the things that really lead to a big payoff in the future. And for that matter, in any high ticket sales, you have to be a good communicator. And let's face it, the person who has the best communication skills is going to win, especially in this real estate industry that we're in. You can educate yourself on the best techniques and you can educate yourself on different things that you might put in or implement in your business. But as far as becoming a good communicator, you really have to put in the effort here. And, and what that really is, is having a really good role play partner that you can role play with, you know, several times a week. And, you know, over time, you're gonna get better and better and better at your communication. You're really gonna notice that skill when it comes to your business. You're gonna start to see that payoff. And these challenging conversations that you were once afraid of, it's not gonna be scary anymore. It's not gonna be a challenge anymore. You're gonna be much more comfortable and you're gonna feel like you're, you're, you're ready, ready for any situation. So it really is important to, like I said, you know, put in a couple of days a week where you're studying and putting in the effort and meeting with a role play partner. And that way, when you do meet with your clients, you're prepared because as they say, you can either practice with a role play partner or you can practice with your clients, which is better. And the thing is, you know, it's totally fine to practice with your clients, but let's at least get your foot in the door, start learning some basic communication skills. And then when you meet with your clients, you don't look like you're just completely don't know what you're doing. So guys, you just gotta put in the work. There's no, there's no easy button. There's, I wish there was, but there's not. You just gotta put in the work, chop the wood, carry the water, day in, day out, and I promise you it's gonna pay off. All right guys, I hope you found this information valuable and I hope you found this tip helpful. And as usual, do the thing, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.